Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Tip Tuesdays. I'm Karen Schenkel, your Adoption and Change Management Lead with Amtrust Solutions. Today we're going to be talking about meeting recordings, where they're stored and how to share them. So right now they are currently stored in Stream, but effective in August, this is being moved to OneDrive and SharePoint. You can opt into this change sooner as an organization, and we do recommend that because then that does give you control over the change when it happens and to ability to communicate with your end user community. So we're gonna walk through where they're stored and how to share them. So right now, if you were in a meeting or once this change happens, if you're in a meeting, whoever clicks record, it's stored in their OneDrive. And you want to be able to share that out immediately so that it's not tied to their OneDrive account. So either move it into a team or channel and then, or move it into a SharePoint site. So it's accessible to everybody. If that person who recorded it left the organization, when they're, uh, account gets decommissioned that their OneDrive account goes with that. So you will lose that recording if that is not shared out outside of their OneDrive account. If you have a channel meeting, then the recording will be stored in SharePoint within that channel. So that is a great way to use channel meetings as well, or a great reason to use channel meetings. So I'm going to show you from OneDrive here. So I'm in my OneDrive account. I'm going to my files and you'll see I have now this folder for recordings. I click on that. I have a test recording I did earlier today that is here. And like any of files in OneDrive, the sharing process is the same. So if you hover over the name, you will see this option here to share. And then here you can select how you want to share that document. So if you click on here, it will give you options here. So you can select just people within your organization, people with existing access, or you can list specific people. If you want to share this externally, listing specific people is the way to do that and then you use their email addresses which I'll show you in just a second. But down here you have some other settings that you can set as well so you can block the ability to edit and download this document. So right now this is left on so they cannot edit the document with this toggled like this. You also have here can block the download so they can't edit but you can also toggle off so they can't download the document if you don't want them having it downloaded. If you want them to have the ability to edit the document, you can click on this button here that will automatically turn off the ability to toggle on or off the, the block the download. So they can edit it, they can download it, they've got full access to that recording. Then you're going to click apply. And then here you will put in the email addresses if it's an external user or if it's an internal user, you can put their names or group in here. You can also include a message if you want. And you'll also notice this little pencil here. So if I click this, you can also change their ability to edit the document here. You can either select send and that will send them an email notification saying that they have been given access to this document with a link directly to the document or recording um, in that email that they can click on. Or you can select copy link and that will give you a link, link that you can send out to a larger audience if you need to. Those are your options for sharing. If you have any questions, please reach out to Amtra Solutions. Have a great day.